Hi guys, on today's video I'll be doing a combination of a review and a how to charge safely nickel metal high drive and lipo batteries with a peak detection charger. Okay, so here I have my charger. This is the Primal. Here's the original box and as you can see I still have the price in it. So let me get this up close. Again, this is the Primal multi chemistry AC peak detection balance charger and this is I would say an entry level charger and a great one to get into the hobby without breaking the bank. By now if you've bought your RC you know that they come with cheap chargers that take hours to charge so this will definitely quicken the process and make it safer for your battery to charge. So if you get this one you receive of course the charger, inside the box you'll get a user manual, let me put this out of the way the usual warranty card and a couple of plugins for different batteries but you can see I still have them inside the box since I only use two one for nickel metal high drives and one for lipos okay so let's grab a closer look and you see it can charge 2s and 3s lipos this button is for charging lipos this one is to select the amps you will charge your batteries to also this is the start and stop button and lastly the nickel metal high drive button. So let's charge your battery. I'll start with the nickel metal high drive. This is from a Traxxas RC I have. And like I was saying, this charger comes with various plugins for batteries, so you'll use this one to charge the nickel metal high drive batteries. So now I'm connecting the charger to the AC outlet, and you can see some red lights blink to let you know that it's turned on. Now before connecting your battery to the charger, grab a close look at it because they'll say at what rate they need to be charged to avoid problems. On this one, in very small letters, it says that it's recommended to be charged at 3 amps or less. So these are the amps to select on the charger. So now let's connect the battery to the charger and now a red light turns on. So now I'll just push the amps button two times to make it go to 3 amps to charge it at a correct rate. And now we'll press the start and nickel metal hydride button at the same time for 3 seconds to start charging it and now another light turns on, a red one, and this lets you know that it's charging. This light will blink green when it reaches its peak detection and will go solid when fully charged. Something extra to say is that it's best to charge all batteries when you are close to them so in case something were to happen you'll be able to attend the issue. Now in case you'd like to stop the charging, you just need to press the stop button and the red light turns off, means it's now safe to disconnect the battery from the charger. So now I'm just disconnecting the battery from the charger and also remember do not pull it from the cables otherwise your charger or battery can get damaged. You see, I'm pulling it from the ends. One last thing is, as you can see, this battery is fully charged and now has a solid green light on. But to give you perhaps a small and simple explanation of what is a peak detection charger, when a battery reaches a full charge, the charger will detect this peak and will reduce the voltage to avoid overcharging it. Okay, so now let's charge the LiPo. And you can see, it says, let me give it a closer look. Okay, here we go. It says 2S and to be charged at a 1C charge rate. So for this one, you'll need to remove the adapter from the charger and simply connect the LiPo to the cable. And now let's insert this cable to the 2S. So now we'll press the LiPo start button at the same time for three seconds and now the battery is being charged and once it's fully charged, just repeat the same steps we did for the nickel metal high drive and you'll be done. So thank you guys for watching, hope you find this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe.